Acro yoga takes tradition to new heights. It blends dance, martial arts, and acrobatics into a high-flying yoga experience. It was developed right here in Montreal by Jesse Goldberg and Eugene Pocu. It does uh, um, sometimes put you up against some of your fear issues. Uh, you do have to sometimes go upside down. We do try to kind of take people into it gradually. Uh, it can get very extreme, but the basics are for everybody. Acro Yoga was born 13 years ago when Eugene and Jesse retired from professional dance. They opened a studio here on St. Catherine Street and started developing new moves. It was their way to have creative expression and stay in shape. These flips, poses and transition take an incredible amount of strength from both the flyer and the base. I'm stronger and more flexible than, than when I was 20 years old. When you work in the whole core basically, you're working from the neck all the way to the toes basically. The whole body has to be engaged. I get a lot of good feedback because of my gender and my age. So it's great, I'm laughing. They're like, wow, you're so strong for an old lady. And I'm like, I am, that's true. And I'm even strong for a young man. <laughs> Eugene and Jesse aren't only yoga partners. They've been married for 29 years and have three children. Yoga is their way to maintain their connection both physically and emotionally. It's called a trust, right? It has to be totally trust or it's not going to work. So if I don't trust that my partner Jesse is going to support me or if she doesn't trust I'm going to support her, it's not going to work. It has to be total trust and communication. I mean, there's rough patches. Everybody has that. Uh, but the, that, the physicality and our, the way we express ourselves always brought us back and put us on the same page. Their pairing is also unique because they break traditional gender rules. Eugene is the flyer while Jesse supports him as the base. It looks good, I think, to, to flip the script, to um, totally reverse the roles. It kind of, it kind of takes people, not a back, but it kind of like surprises people. So you see a black man and a white woman who have managed in their way to not become a stereotype or a cliche. We're about the same size, but it's very non-traditional. Um, I, I like that. I've never sought out that. It always just happened. Jesse and Eugene have trained hundreds of teachers. There are now many different schools of acro yoga all over the world, from San Francisco to Moscow to Hong Kong. From humble beginnings here in Montreal, it's clear that Jesse thinks acro yoga is here to stay. I expect it will take over the world within the next 10 or 20 years completely. Yes. 